Okay, we have the flat go up running. We're gonna go to also first note that all the weather information as far as um, uh, meters are in circles. So we have green circles and we have this blue circle over here over DCA. Now let's go to external and connect to the statics. So the statics is connected, it's active, it's pulling um, GPS information and it just got one ADSB tower. Now please know that you will be able to get ADSB information only if you are in flight, so high enough or if you are very close to a tower at an airport. And I'm very close to, uh, to Baltimore right now, as you can see from the map. All right, we are pulling ADSB data right now. I am right here, so that little black plane, that's me right there, very close to the airport. And you can see all the traffic around me. I can tap on any of these, get their call sign, and GPS data, altitude, and speed. So this one seems to be taxiing at three knot. Uh, this one is coming into land. And I can see him outside the window right now. So he's going to land on this small runway uh, on the further side. And this Echo Delta Victor is lined up for the main runway. And uh, 87 Whiskey Delta is actually uh, looks like a citation. And it's going to land in the smaller runway. Like it tells you the, um, the altitude as well. If I zoom out, I can pull traffic uh, like far enough, I mean, even way too far. If I'm right here, I'm not really concerned about a traffic that is about 30 miles away. But this is just to give you an idea. This guy over here is at 45,000 feet. And you can easily see that this next airplane over here is also lined up to land at Baltimore. Now, one thing to note is that when you get ADSB data, it shows up as squares and not the circles. So see how this used to be um, a circle here and now it's a, a square. This is ADSB data. And it, it doesn't have any meter, it only gives me the TAF. Yeah, it's only the TAF right now. Now, if you are in flight, you will get more and more. Actually, let me zoom out to see how many squares. See, you can see that I'm starting to get more and more squares all over the place. So I'm getting uh, ADSB weather from uh, Washington all the way up to New York City and way up to into Boston. So every circle is actually data that I previously previously had, or if you have an internet connection, you can pull that. But when you see squares, that's ADSB data. And I believe the little pilot guy you see here, this is gonna be a PIREP information. If I, if I click on it, it should give me PIREP information. Yep, it's a PIREP. Uh, Moderate turbulence, 400. Another power up over here. Turbulence, moderate, and with chops. Okay. Now you can see that uh, this, what, sub hundred dollar ADSB device is totally worth the money. Let me also show you the um, airport diagram. So this is the Baltimore geo-reference diagram and I am somewhere right here. So I'm fairly close to the airport, really close to the airport. And that's how I'm able to pull all this ADSB information. Now, if you use a flat plane go 
you need to go to the ADSB tab settings to activate what you want to see. If you are not interested with like into NoRams, you can uncheck that. The METAR or the BIREPS, and you will only get the TAFs if that's what you are after. Now, also interesting, let me activate all of these and it is, and also the traffic breadcrumbs. So this should kind of like leave a tail for every single traffic as it goes by. It may take a while to actually populate, but it's good to know. And if you wonder about the color schemes for the um, airplanes, uh, it's in the setting, in the traffic setting, it tells you that anything 2,000 feet and uh, five miles from you is gonna be red, which in 3,000 feet and eight miles is gonna be orange. Greater than that is gonna be yellow, but you will still uh, see, see it on your screen. All right, there you have it. Oh, here we go. Now you're starting to see the tails for the airplanes. Like you see these yellow tails and uh, some orange tails and some red tails. So that's the traffic breadcrumbs. Let me go back to the uh, Sadex application and show you something interesting. Okay, here we go. So if you see the UAT, now I got quite a lot of data. From one tower, I got 515 meters and counting. So what it's doing is it's actually discovering and populating everything it can. Now I will go back to the uh, map and you will see that I will have more squares on it. Yeah, see, now I'm getting more and more squares. So the longer you run this, the more data it will gather and it will populate all that data on the map. So when I started, I had only a couple of squares and now I have a couple more squares on the screen. So this is what you can expect if you build and fly with the Sadex. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Thank you.